Do you like games? Great. Here's 10 of them you can get for $10. Yeah, just give me 10 bucks and you can download them all for free on itch.io. Links in the description. I'm gonna give each game less than 10 seconds. Let's go. Glove Slap is a Nidhogg clone without any single player, so I can't play it because I don't have any friends. Zero out of 10. Joy Exhibition is an artsy game about being an artsy while the people around you are artsy and there's artsy outside. Art out of 10. Week 11 Duel is a Nidhogg clone without any single player, so I can't play it because I don't have any friends. Zero out of 10. What is, what is this one? Oh jeez, okay, this game's too spooky. I can't do it, zero out of 10, get it away from me. Remember Minicraft, the 2D Minecraft clone that Notch made for a game jam once? Reap is that with a sapia tone Instagram filter over it. Three out of 10. Eggnog Plus is a Nidhogg clone without any single player, so I can't play it because I don't have any friends. Zero out of 10. Diviner looks neat, but my computer won't let me play it. Zero out of 10. Emily is Away is an aim messenger simulator? I think I'm gonna give this one a 1995 out of 2016. The Travels of the Dung Beetle is shit. It's just an actual shit game. I just realized I could hit run anyway, so I actually can play Diviner, so 1 out of 10. Itch is some sort of virtual marketplace for fake games. The interface is decent, but the microtransactions are ridiculous. 4 out of 10. Overall, I think I give video games a 3 out of 10. They had a pretty good run, but try harder next time. Stay tuned for our next episode, 2TE4M, where we review Steam games in 24 hours. Ugh. Hey, thanks for watching the first episode of Itch.10 by Game Thesis. All of the games I just made fun of are actual real games you can download for free on itch.io. Some of them are even fun. Links to each of them in the description below. If you want to watch some more videos, we have a couple. You can watch them if you want. I think they're neat. <laughs>